This week we have quite a bit of information to cover. Um, it looks probably more intimidating than it really is. I know there's a lot of videos. Don't get overwhelmed. It'll be okay. Just work through them. All the videos are pretty short. Um, we are covering major breeds of cats. We're also going to cover how to care for them and also breeds of pocket pets and birds. But we're going to start out with cats. So cat breeds differ in different colors and color patterns, um, length of their hair. So you might have heard of a breed being referred to as a long-haired cat versus a short-haired cat. Also shape and length of their ears, shape and color of their eyes, their head shape. You'll find that Siamese cats have a very defined head shape, um, body conformation, size, and also disposition. We're not going to cover all the different breeds of cats. There's a lot of them. Um, we're only going to cover a select few. All right, so examples of short hair breeds. This is where we're going to start today. Um, the American short hair or the domestic short hair. This cat came to the U.S. with English settlers. Um, there's 34 different recognized color patterns with the tabby being the most common color. They're kind of a medium to large sized cat that's very affectionate. They make a good lap cat. It's a very common cat in the U.S. The Bombay was originated around 1958. It is relatively new as far as breed goes. Um, it, was, it was a result of um, crossing the Burmese with the American Shorthair. It's a medium-sized cat. They're always that jet black color with those copper or gold colored eyes. They're a very graceful looking cat, very cute and charming. Um, and they get along well with others, even strangers. I know a lot of cats, and you probably have seen this too, are wary of strangers or they're like one person cats. Um, the Bombay is pretty sociable. The Cornish Rex, this is a smaller medium sized cat with oval shaped eyes and that kind of like curvy or curly or rippling looking hair coat. Um, it needs to be kept indoors. It does lack the external guard hairs that protects the cat from the elements. Breeds like the domestic short hair have a thicker guard hair coat covering that will keep them safe and warm in, say, extreme cold or keep them dry in the rain, that sort of thing. The Cornish Rex doesn't have that. The Siamese, um, these are known for really close one-on-one -on -one devotion to a person, even within the family. So if you have a family of four, they might be particularly close to one person. The eye color is always that really deep blue, and the head actually forms an equilateral triangle from the nose to the tips of the ears. So if you look, you can actually see from the nose to the tip of the ear to the other ear back down to the nose. It's an equilateral triangle. Um, they are particularly sensitive to vaccinations and anesthetics. They have they tend to have allergic reactions. Other short hair breeds include the Abyssinian, the British short hair, which is that gray cat there on the right. Um, the Abyssinian is that cat on the left. The Burmese, the Devon Rex. The Japanese bobtail, the Korat, the Manx, which is actually a tailless cat, the Singapura, the snowshoe breed, and also the Sphinx, those are the hairless cats. So these are, there's your Sphinx there down on the bottom right, but these are all those different breeds we just mentioned. Alright, long hair breeds will be on the next video.